In this chapter, we're going to look at basic subdivisional development in 4.4. Let's take a look at the first three subdivisions in the exercise we saw at the end of chapter one. They are the, taka, and takita, which is one, two, and three. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. Taka, 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 da. Now let's try takita. One, two, three, four. Takita, 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 takita. This is how we work out the subdivisions. Let's take one bar of 4 4. If we subdivide each da into taka 2, we have 2 times 4, which is 8. So within each bar, we can use different variations, combinations of 8. For example, 3 takita plus 3 takita plus 2 taka equals 8. So if we put these small groups into any combination, they'll always come out to eight. Okay, now here's an exercise that shows all of these combinations put together in the same groove. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi, taka dimmi. Takita, takita, taka, takita. You must have recognized one of the rhythms in this first combination. It's been used hundreds of times in music, especially pop rock. Dum, 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 dum. It's really simple, but very effective. You will also have noticed that the first beat of every group is accented. This allows us to hear each group within the rhythm and know what it is. This is important to understand since the accents play an essential role in every groove. So don't forget to accent the first beat of every group, for example, ta kita or ta ka or ta ka dimi. Let's now look at ta kita but using basic triplets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ta kita, 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 ta kita. Let's look at the different combinations open to us. With takita, every da is multiplied by three, and that gives us 12 subbeats to a 4 4 bar. So within each bar, we can use different variations of 12. For example, four takitas, four threes, equals 12. Six takas equals 12. That's six times two. Two takitas, two times three, plus three takas, three twos, equals twelve. Three takas, that's three twos, plus two takitas, two threes, equals twelve. I'm not talking about tacos, I'm talking about takas and takitas. Anyway, Selva. Here's an exercise that shows all possible combinations of triplets in a 4 4 bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tuck it, 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 two, three, four. Tuck a 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 two, three, four. Tuck a tuck a tuck a tuck it, tuck it, tuck a tuck a tuck a tuck it, tuck it. Three, four. 
Okay, Salva will now sing a short improvisation using everything we've seen in this chapter. Then I'll play some guitar again, showing how these rhythms can be adapted and used in Western music. One. Again, I'm going to look at this hidden side of Conical and the effect it's had on me in particular in a compositional sense. Now, I'm going to play you a, a tune that was again written for the Mahavishnu Orchestra in 1972. And this motive, that's not takita, 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 like the first one we played in chapter one. This is takita, takadimi, takita, then takita, takadimi, takita, because it's in 10, 4, 28. So we have takita, takadimi, takita, 3 plus 4, 7 plus 3 is 10, and then again. And this is how it goes. Shuffle at the end, that was another combination of 20 where it was six taquitas and a taka. Taquita, 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 etc. Which might sound a little strange, but it's really a lot of fun to play on. So you can see how these little conical motives lend themselves in a compositional, in a melodic capacity so easily. 